Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to remove Safari extensions. Safari is the most popular browser on the Mac, mostly because it's made by Apple and is installed when you buy your Mac and is also set as the default browser. Like Chrome and Firefox, you can install extensions in Safari to add extra features. For example, if you use a password manager, you can install an extension that autofills your username and password on certain websites. You can simply find all available Safari extensions if you open the Safari menu and select Safari Extensions. By the way, what's your favorite Safari extension? Leave your answer in the comments below. However, as with extensions in other browsers, Safari extensions can be problematic. Out-of-date extensions may cause Safari to run more slowly, for example. But even worse than that is that browser extensions are a favorite way for hackers to download malware to your Mac. It's usually disguised as a legitimate extension, but once you've installed it, it will display adverts or steal your data. Fortunately, getting rid of extensions in Safari is not difficult. There are a number of ways to do it, and I'll cover them in this video. So, how to remove Safari extensions manually. To remove extensions right from the browser, you need to open Safari. Then click the Safari menu and select Preferences. In the window that appears, go to the Extensions tab. Here you can manage your extensions. There is an Uninstall button under the Extensions description. To remove an extension from Safari, click Uninstall. You will then see a notification that an extension is part of the application and you'll need to uninstall the app to automatically remove extensions. Click Show in Finder. Now you should see a new window with the highlighted app. Right-click the icon and select Move to Bin. Empty the trash to remove any trace of the app and extension from your Mac. These can be supporting files, cache, and other types of files that can clutter up your Mac. That's why when you're uninstalling Safari extensions manually, you aren't completely removing their leftovers. Is there a more effective way to delete Safari extensions entirely? Yes, there is, and I'm going to introduce it right now. The tool I've been using for a while can not only help you remove all extensions from your Mac, but also sweep away the leftovers. Clean My Mac X is a professional Mac cleaner software. It shows all Safari extensions and lets you delete them all together. Here's how to do that. Download Clean My Mac X. Simply follow the link in the description box. Install and launch the app. Go to Uninstaller. This feature will show all apps and Safari app extensions you uninstalled from the App Store. Tick the boxes next to Safari app extensions and press Uninstall. Now your apps and Safari extensions that have come together are removed. There is a Leftovers tab that shows the remaining data of the apps you deleted manually. Check the tab and uninstall files that have been piling up. Clean My Mac X also has a dedicated extensions module that detects Safari extensions you've installed not from the App Store. To clean those, go to Extensions. Here, select those you want to delete and click Remove. Wow, I managed to remove a lot of extensions that I forgot I had. It's time to check whether there are no malicious extensions that I could miss. If you installed extensions from the Mac App Store, you have nothing to worry about because they are safe. But there is a risk that the extensions you got somewhere else can steal your data and display adverts. Clean My Mac X can detect and scan malware that has already been downloaded to your Mac. If you found an extension that you think is suspicious, then you should use Clean My Mac X to scan and remove it. Here's how to do it. 1. Launch Clean My Mac X. 2. In the sidebar, choose the malware tool. 3. Press the scan button. 4. If it hasn't found any malware, Clean My Mac X will tell you that and you'll see a green tick. If it has found something, you can get rid of it straight away by pressing Clean. And that's all for today. I hope this video was helpful. Check out the description box for links and additional info and stay tuned for more videos.